Diane here from Deco Easy. Welcome to my new video because today I'm going to participate in the Fall Kitchen Vignette Challenge which was set up by this and that with Denise Jordan and I'm going to take you to my kitchen to see how it looks like right now and then we're going to make the tray and then of course I'm going to show you how it looks like in the kitchen after that. So here we are in the kitchen and I wanted to, to have a tray up in my microwave because as you can see this is the situation right now and I think it's actually pretty boring. I only used two fall leaves in the artificial plant and that's it. So. What I want to do is to have a tray up in my microwave because when I use the microwave function all the items which are on the microwave right now can be in place as they are but when I turn the oven on then I have to take the items away because the surface gets really really hot and I actually thought it was a good idea to use a tray for that because then I can pick it up all at once and then I can put it away as long as the oven is on. And after the oven cooled down, I can put the tray back on. So let's start. All right, so here we're back with all the items we're gonna use. First, I have this flak in the beautiful fall colors. I'm going to use that because it is really secure and I find it a nice idea when I put it in the kitchen. Look, the tray isn't that big and I can secure it in a corner, so if I accidentally slam the door of the microwave or something a little bit too hot, then the whole sign won't come off. Um, as you can see, it's quite an old tray. It's not it doesn't have such a nice color anymore, so I wanted to cover the bottom with an old pillow cover in brown. Then we have this artificial plant, which was already in the kitchen, so I'm going to leave it that way because I like it very much with the fall leaves. And Denise said I had to use a plate. Well, I couldn't really find myself a plate in the Netherlands which was suitable for the tray. So I will use this little cute tray made from stone. I think that was a great solution. And I have this one made from plastic. Also really secure in the kitchen because I don't want to break and have any glass over the microwave. Okay, of course I have some fall decorations, some leaves and pine cones which are already always great to use and some floral with nice autumn colors. All right, now I think it's time to start decorating.
now it's time to take a look at the final result. Okay, I hope you liked it, the way I decorated it for my well, usual videos. This one was quite a simple and short one, but the tree wasn't as big as, well, maybe others of you are decorating. But now the way I'm really happy with my kitchen tree. Now I can pick up some more decor easily and remove it when I'm going to cook. Um, the items on the right side, I always leave them in place because they're really, you know, suitable for being on a hot oven and made from metal and even the lamp can handle the high temperatures of the surface. And I actually forgot to tell you that this candle has a flame which can, you know, really move. Works with a magnet when the battery turns on and that's it. it's about i think six, six o'clock right now it's starting to get dark here already days are getting shorter then the flame also starts to move and the light this candle gives is just fascinating it is really the warm color of a real candle which makes me happy because in the netherlands when they say uh, that it has a warm light it's always just you know white and pale so I was really happy with this candle I bought it I think several years ago two or three years ago for just only two euros or three euros so that's really cheap and the battery is well I think for one or two months and then it starts to getting darker and the light is fading so then it's time to replace the batteries but I'm really happy with it Okay, let me know what you think of this cute decoration and don't forget to subscribe and we hope to see you in our next video. Bye bye!